Hey guys, welcome back to Resident Evil. Um, Stop I'm saying go. <laughs> uh, sorry. I, I, it's just. I end on one. Not Is go. It, did it say locked from the other side? I want to say it was lo said it was locked from the other side, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Oops. Would you Ooh. drop that? I thought you dropped the bottle on the ground. No, I, I hit my chair with it. It's locked from the other side. Okay, so that. Just blow up the door. You have a grenade launcher. Speaking of grenade launchers, we're putting that away. Why? Um, we do not need to carry that on us. That weapon is way too powerful for anything we're going to be fighting. What about um, what's his name? I don't believe. I think we might get Samurai what about Edge. Nemesis. No, then no, 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 no. Is Nemesis thinking, not in this? Um, you're thinking of Resident Evil Three, no. which also has Jill as the main character. Alright, so I can see where yeah, where I got messed up. Um, Tyrant is the name of the guy you're thinking of in this okay, game. Okay, well, so the exact same character, but with a different name. Mm, okay, uh, the difference between Tyrant and Nemesis is Nemesis is bigger. Okay. Uh, actually, no, I think Tyrant and him are the same size. Um, by the way, shotgun blows. Oh, dang, one has missing eyes, one has a missing mouth, and one has missing Oh my gosh, nose. it's almost symbolism. For um, what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put wait, that... Wait, what does it have symbolism for? See no evil, smell yeah, no evil, joking. speak no... Oh, I was gonna say. I, I was like, didn't we just go over this? No, no uh, we didn't, actually. I'm sorry, give me a second. I'm stupid. Didn't go over it for the fans. Think. Of... I'm not gonna save. This. And of course, that's gonna come back to bite me in the butt later. Wait! Save. No. No, I'm not gonna save. On, I don't no. need it. Do it. <laughs> Dude, if if worse comes to worse, I'll just play it again. It's not. Oh no. <laughs> Marquis is a fool. Yeah, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I'm that... just a fool. A fool in love. Wow, thanks for that. Really. You don't you don't get it. So I, I needed I needed that. I needed you to serenade me like that. Crap! I mean it's part of a song it's part of a song. But also a song from Back to the Future, so whatever you want. No one dislikes Back to the Future. I'm sure there's someone. Who I mean, doesn't there's like probably Back to the someone, future. but anybody that watches it that I know, per not personally, but I just know. Oh, you know Back anything I watch? I'm gonna complain about something because that's I mean, just how I am. Back to the Future one's a perfect movie. Honestly, like how I added one. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it kind of, it kind of is. It kind of is a. I mean, it has its flaws, like the whole timeline thing doesn't make sense if you want to get into the whole multiverse thing mm. in different dimensions and how something goes bad and something goes good and then that splits off into a whole nother fucking... And it just, it goes into this charade of, like, bullshit. I mean, don't say that because some people actually believe in that. Mo no, it's... Uh, I'm trying to... What I'm saying is the whole idea behind the Back to the Future thing with the whole multiverse thing. It's just... It has so much content to it that us saying anything about it would, like, unjustify it. By me trying to explain this huge world that these people have built surrounding the whole story of it, I would just be insulting them by saying anything. Canada. Canada. You make good maple syrup. I'm just kidding. I've, have you ever had Canadian maple syrup? No. It's kind of gross. Is it sweet? And, uh, it's like a wet sweet. That sounds weird, uh, now that I think about it. It's, um... Okay. How do I explain it to you? Because it's so hard. It's like water. Water? You know the maple syrup you're used to that's pretty much just compounded sugar in mm -hmm. a syrup form? It's more watery than that. It like it's like pouring water on your pancakes. So it's like hot sauce on bread. The worst idea I've ever had. Maybe. <laughs> Probably actually well, yes. Cause I was like, man. Cause you know, uh, well, I'm not gonna get into any, uh, anything. But we cook hot wings. <laughs> we make our own hot wings. It there's a lot of hot sauce left over, so I drink a little bit of the hot, hot sauce. Cause wow, that's disgusting. I'm just saying, I really like it. That's gross. You can't just drink straight up hot sauce. No, I mean, I'm not... 
I'm not, like, down in a whole, like, bowl of it. I mean, you want to put it, like, on a sandwich or something. Well, that's the... Don't, though. This guy... Because it's... I I did do that, and it was wet bread. <laughs> it's basically as wet... As close to wet bread as you can possibly get. Which I have an affinity for wet bread. Yeah. Like, that shit is gross. If I gave... If I made you eat that... Yeah, but it was, like, on that Italian bread. It doesn't matter what it's on. It should have... It, it, it shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but it did. It's honestly... Anything that has to do with any form of bread getting wet is just disgusting. Because you know when you bite into it, you're... It's not bread anymore. It's this... Yeah, but, I mean, it's not gonna break. I haven't even used well, it. Well, problem is, when I started to chew through it, I could even I couldn't even bite it. It was literally liquid now. It was a very thick liquid bread. Don't do it. Don't do it. I think uh, I think I made a mistake, but mistakes are easily easily countered, guys. I promise. Maybe. Yeah, but it's just generally a bad idea. I made a mistake, actually. I'm sorry, guys. I'm stupid. Um, I'll cut out the part where I run back to the... Guys, he admitted it. Yeah. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. Mm. I didn't mean it. Alright, so... This is a puzzle, Joshua. But as you can see... Red? Everyone, I know, but... <sighs> okay, she has a purple necklace, a green crown, and a r orange... Right, so I'm guessing it's green, purple, red. Or red. No, 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 no. Red, I accidentally red, pressed the button. Green, green, purple, orange. Yeah. It's okay. green, purple, orange. Wait, what? I'm sorry. I accidentally went through this place and green, I'm dumb purple, again. Green, orange? Green, purple, orange. Okay. It's the colors. Well, I know that. Um... These pictures have buttons on them, and when you hit a button, it changes the color of the picture. The picture has to correspond with what she's wearing. Like this guy. He's wearing a bracelet. Woo. What color was the bracelet? Apparently orange. Okay. Okay. This guy was wearing a necklace. What color was the necklace? Purple. Actually. No. It's a crimson light, though. The crimson's red. Hmm? Crimson's red. Uh, it's actually a purple necklace. Mm. And then we use the deep red to make purple. Dang. And then... You're good at figuring out stuff. Thanks, man. No problem. No problem at all. <laughs> you know, it's just like trial and error. And hopefully you're not too dumb. Oh, that's green. That that's definitely green. What about the, the guy uh, at the end? Oh, it's red. Yep. Actually, it's orange. Well, that's orange. Ah, uh, we did it, guys. Are you proud Ugh. of me? Well, we have so many gross heck? masks. Pick that up. Oh, I swear, if this yes. game glitched, I was all like, no. I was like, <laughs> no! <laughs> What's going on? Alright, we opened this door, and now this door's unlocked. Now we gotta go get the other three things. And then I think we gotta get the wind pendant as well. Crap. Are those spears? Um, Put on the mask. We can't. Why? Because it's not an option. What if you put on the mask? All right, I know where to Magic go. Magic would happen? Um, no. They don't do anything. They're just stone masks. Although they press buttons when they're put on the right statues. What if you put it on your face and you'd have a button mark on your face? Wow, would it? No, actually. What if I took this bottle and poured it all over your phone right now? Yeah, but my phone's not waterproof. Yeah, I know. And I don't claim it to be. But they do. Exactly. The whole point is, hey, this phone's waterproof. Which is impressive, but come on, sort guys. Of. No, not sort of. 
That's impressive. Like, uh, I mean, uh, couldn't you just get like <laughs> you can a get a case. case to yeah. Yeah, you can just get a case for it and then put a glass like panel over it so it doesn't get in. Honestly, I'm really concerned for whoever's dropping their phone in water in the first place. Like, I would see these people who would like drop their phone and their phone would be decimated, and I'd be all like, "What is going on?" Yeah, no. It's like those videos on YouTube where people drop like Xboxes from like a building. It's like, oh man, and then it's all like, I I'm pretty sure I don't think you did that, but <laughs> sure. Oh my gosh, are you scared? Are you scared yet, Joshua? That's gross. Well, don't actually be scared, cause oh crap. Why can't I be scared? This one's without a nose. You see how close I am to it, and it's all like, you can't use this. No nose! I love how it's still hanging. They didn't want to snap it so it would hit the wall. They're all like, we'll just wait till they put all of them on. How is she surprised? <laughs> like, she heard the chains. So who's this? Technically, it's the first crimson head. So this is when, um, if you take, I forget how long it takes for stuff to start turning into Crimson Heads, but this is, a, like, one of the first things you see. And he's actually the strongest Crimson Head, I believe. Oh my gosh, he's Wait, big. really? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, I mean, you can't expect too much, man. But I bet if I played this, I would have died, so whatever. Um, no. Unless you didn't get the shotgun. If you had... No. Yes, grab it. There is something. There. Stone and metal object. With the Umbrella Corporation symbol on it. <laughs> of course. This is like... That's not even like in debate. Like, of course this is an Umbrella thing. Actually, no, we don't know that yet. I mean... If you want to keep something secret, don't put your company logo on it. <laughs> it's, just, it it's just a giant, like, someone's all like, oh my god, look at all these dead bodies. And, like, they put stickers that say Umbrella Corporation on every single one of them. <laughs> oh, guys, I, yeah. and then some dude in the crowd's all like, guys, I think I know who did this. <laughs> Everyone's like, I, I think I do, too. <laughs> and then, like, the leader of, like, Umbrella did it, and they're all, like, they're on a talk show, and they're all like, what... What, what do you think of this recent catastrophe with, like, the zombie outbreak and everything? What, who do you think of the person who did this? And they're all like, oh, yeah, we did it. <laughs> yeah, it was us. And I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> he slaps an Umbrella Corporation sticker on his microphone. He's like, bye, guys. <laughs> See you later. We're evil. See ya. <laughs> We're going to release another virus soon. <laughs> All right. Yeah, the last one was the T virus. I'm thinking a little bit of the S virus. <laughs> Maybe later we can. Man, I forget what game one. it is, but it has like evil bears in it, like zombie bears, and it's like the worst Resident Evil game. Oh, I thought you were talking about uh, uh oh, don't kill that me. That one game, uh, uh, Dragon Age Origins, because. You find zombie bears in that. Or, well, not really zombie bears. They're the fade ones. The fey bears? The fade, bro. I'm so fade right now. Oh, the defiler of the accursed coffin. Sorry, I defiled that coffin pretty good. Uh, here's your stone and metal. Yeah, I never got to uh, good beat news. the game with my elf. What do you mean? I didn't beat the game with my elf. Your elf? Yeah. Because I couldn't get past the princess area, or whatever. The princess castle area. area. Castle area. I know what you're saying, but I'm just so confused. It was too hard. What was too hard? The castle area. The ca I, again, I don't know what you mean by that. Like, there was no difficult castle area that I remember. Mm. Are you talking about where you fight uh, Logan? No. No Actually, that is the part of the game where you're going to fight Logan. 
<coughs> it's Brad! Joshua, it's Brad! You don't know who Brad is? How do you not... I'm actually mad at you right now that you don't know who Brad is. Sorry. He drives the helicopter. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all he does. You gonna shoot a rocket launcher? He's cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wow. I already knew that. <laughs> you were, for a minute, you were really surprised. You were like, how did he know that? Did you, how did you know the secret of Resident Evil? Well, because I've seen the end of the game. How did you know? That's that. That's another. That's another. Uh, z Hey, Marky, which way are you gonna go? This way. Look. The other thing. But it's telling you where to go. See. North, east, south, west. Uh, can you remember this? Okay, remember. Valley of Destruction. No, no, okay, remember. Cave I'll remember of these two. I'll remember these two. North Destruction, South Hatred. Alright, yeah. Hmm. North Destruction, South Hatred. Wait, am I oh, Okay, I clicked that? on it Wait, again. Which one am I remembering? I remember the first two, you remember the last two. Right. North Destruction, South Hatred. Wait, alright, so I'm remembering East and West? Yeah. Wait, honestly, I don't think you know what I'm talking about, but it's the Barrett situation from Final Fantasy. Okay, last grouse. Oops. Okay. Do you remember which way was Revenge? Uh, it was west. Okay, so north and west. Alright. Which one was that? I can't even tell. You can... I don't know what you got. I don't remember. It was it? Oh, okay. So, uh, it's west for you. Mine's north. Oh, I always forget. They just they just face apart. I believe that's the No, they wouldn't face apart. I'm sorry. I'm stupid. And boom. No, wait. Do they face apart? They do. Yeah. I'm dumb. Of course they would. Or wouldn't whatever. Anyway, since we have the wind, the wind pendant, we can do this. Yay. I want to say this is a magnum. And if you know anything about Resident Evil, Joshua, you know when and when not to use the magnum. And what are these? Things. Really? Really. Get out of here, you stupid bird. Jeez. Whoever set up the puzzles in this area were stupid. Not not the makers of it. I meant the like story in general of whoever set these up. Two plus minus. Alright. Alright. Two
Well, you did it. I'm proud of you, you stupid. Use it. Woo. Woo. Plus. Yay. We moon, might not even get hey, the magnet. Hey, moon plus sun equals you. Wow, thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> oh, plus star. Creepy star. Yeah, this is a stupid puzzle. Like, this is... You, it's We're calling so, a lot of the puzzles stupid. Well, this. this one is. This one's, like, too easy. And oh, it's been 23 minutes. Gimme, gimme. Yes. Really? It's berries. Just for a gun. Magnum revolver. Hell yeah, I will. Alright, so that's our most powerful weapon. I think it's more powerful than the grenade launcher. I think we already know what East and <laughs> everything else is. So. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time on Resident Evil. Bye-bye!